What is going on YouTube? This is Simon Team Simon here coming to you guys with a Light Sworn deck profile for the 2014 uh, format, January uh, 2014 format. Well, as you can see, guys, I am playing the new Light Sworn version, so I'm going to be playing the Raiden and, of course, the Maiden. Uh, so it's a basically a January 2014 deck profile, uh, post Legacy of the Valiant, uh, let's just say. So, yeah, this is the deck uh, that I'm going to be playing, and uh, it's just honestly broken. I've been testing this out on DN for a while now and it's just a dumb deck. The one is just drop Judgment Dragon and a combo in off with Lumina and Raiden and freaking uh, Maiden. Absolutely unstoppable, absolutely broken. Uh, this deck is just dumb. So uh, let's get started with deck profile guys. I will first we play Triple Judgment Dragon, self-explanatory. Free 3k beater when you have four more Light Sworn uh, cards in your grave. Uh, really good. Free 3k. Who cares if they veil it? They veil it, it's a veiler. If they veil it, they veil it. Uh, you still have that 3k on, on board and you just basically just pushing attack 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 are you gonna do anything attack mm hmm judging dragon says hi blah 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 yeah so <laughs> triple judging dragon um, next you play of course the triple riding and triple uh, maiden these are the new cards uh, the only the like the one thing the one main thing that I love about these guys are that uh, they're tuners and they just uh, help you go into uh, synchros uh, really really fast especially comboing off with Lumina so Raiden is really good he's able to mill uh, two cards during main phase 2 during your main phase sorry during your main phase you can send the top two cards to your deck to the graveyard uh, and main phase 1 summon Raiden active effect oh you mill a wolf okay summon wolf attack stuff like that and it helps you go into a uh, quick XYZ plays uh, when you're comboing off with Raiden and of course the wolf Raiden is great uh, and he also gains 200 for each uh, Light Sworn uh, sent to the graveyard by his effect, I think. Yeah, by this effect. He gains 200 until the end phase. And then during your end phase, you can mill you know, two cards. Yeah, like a standard Light Sworn effect. Yeah. So, double ride, uh, triple ride in actually. And he's a level 4 tuner, which makes this deck even dumb. So, summon ride in. Activate this effect to mill 2. Mill Wolf. Synchro for um, Crimson Blader. Crimson Blader. Synchro for Stardust. Uh, easy synchros. Um, and next you play the double maiden, triple maiden. Sorry, uh, maiden is just broken. When this card is normal summon, you can add one, uh, one light dragon type monster whose level is less than or equal to the number of light sworn monster with, with different names in your grave. So let's say you have eight light sworn, you can add back a judge dragon. But uh, yeah, she's really good. And when she sends from your hand or uh, hand or deck to the graveyard, send a top card from your deck to the graveyard. So uh, summon her, summon Lumina, summon Lumina, send her to the grave. She gets it back to mill. Hopefully, you mill a wolf, and you summon back the maiden, and you synchro for a beast volcan. Or if you mill a wolf, you can synchro these two wolf and the maiden for uh, cards like Black Rose Dragon or the Michael Light Sworn Arc. So yeah, triple maiden, uh, absolutely stupid. Next, you play double Lila for the back removal. Uh, next, I play triple Lumina, absolutely broken. I think Lumina is gonna get hit during the next format for sure. Uh, she's too broken. Uh, Lumina riding equals Black Rose. Uh, Lumina and Raiden equals Michael. Lumina and Maiden equals Beast Volcan. Ah, oh, so dumb. Uh, next we triple Geroth. This card is for your draw power of the deck. Uh, you have Lumina and Geroth. Uh, you just basically keep milling. And especially when you have more Light Sworn control on board, you're likely to get more draw power off the Geroth. Gera uh, he's really, really good. Uh, triple Geroth. And he's also 1850 beater. Next we the one Aaron to get rid of those problematic face downs. One Jane. I play triple Celestia because this deck is absolutely so fast. Summon the Celestia, bang, pop two cards on board. Um, most of the time, uh, if you s protect your Lumina for the turn and you have a Celestia in your hand, active Lumina's effect, pitch one special one from Grave, tribute that monster for Celestia, and you basically just pop two free cards on board. Next, I play the one Raikou. I like to play the one main Raikou because um, this deck is, is tend to be more fast now. It's not like set Raikou end. Uh, it's, not, it's not like that. So, uh, Raikou, it can just, it's a really, it solves with the problematic cards like Ophion and stuff like that. Uh, next, we play the Triple Wolf. This card is really good. Um, good with Foolish, good with anything that mills. And uh, it's a fast paced deck, so uh, Wolf is really, really good. Uh, I might even drop him on a 2. Uh, I am not sure yet, but the way that I'm testing it right now, it's working really, really fine. Next, I play Triple Necrogarna to protect your uh, Light Swarms from getting killed. Sometimes having that Light Sworn presence on board, and especially let's say you went first turn and you summon Lumina and you summon 
something else, you want to try to protect that Lumina so it can you so can go off even more next turn. Uh, so yeah. Next up we have one Honest and the one Plague Spreader Zombie for uh, the extra tuner, and it's really good. Next up we have Triple Solar Recharge, Triple Monster Reincarnation. You want to add back consistency from your grave because sometimes you wanna you might mill cards that you need. Like of course you want you might mill Judgment Dragon, and Reincarnation just brings back uh, Judgment Dragon's presence into your hand, and you just basically win from there. Uh, so, and it basically dumps your useless card like Wolf to the grave if you have him in hand. Next up, play the one foolish burial, one charge, and or last but not least, one beckoning light. Uh, up to the side deck, triple MST and double dust tornado. You know, I like to play these cards because skill drain, D Fisher, Map Cosmos, and Lightning Prinzing Mirror can just shut down this deck, and I don't like that. So I just like to play a lot of heavy back row in my side deck, like heavy back row removal in my side deck. Uh, one go, double goes a match. Double decree, same purpose as MST and dust, uh, and it just stops any deck that overruns trap cards like chain burn decks like that next to play double shadow and prison mirror uh for the dark decks like dark roads um insectors uh even vampires i think yeah next i play double maxi and of course the double Raikou in the side deck because ophion is still a card and it just wrecks ophion so yeah up to the extra deck we play one volcan divine uh double michael one mistworm uh, one Mist Worm, one Star Eater, one Crimson, one Stardust, one Black Rose. Uh, Black Rose is absolutely amazing. Sometimes you don't have that JD, but you have that Black Rose because you have the Lumina and the Raiden, Eagles Black Rose, and that just basically just wrecks your opponent's whole board. Uh, one Black Ship, one Dire, one Paladynamo, Maestro Dweller, Cowboy, and last but not least, one Lavabo Chain. So hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this deck. And so I'm doing this deck profile post Legacy of the Valiant uh, January 2014 format. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, guys. Team Samson and Sam signing out. Peace.